All right, so we're just out here hiking the hills and we're having a really awesome day. It's perfect weather and uh, we just spotted this guy right here. The one I just picked up, we spotted right after that. And right after that, I spotted that one. Uh, yeah, I like that. It's the other side. Another set, heck yeah. So that means this giant one over here under the tree still needs to be matched up. Pretty cool. Now let's go get this one under the tree. It's not a giant. No. But it looked like it at first. Kind of cool how it's down there. A good horn. Oh, yeah. You got a cool inline there. Too bad we didn't find him uh, a few years ago, huh? Still, like, how do you find three horns just like that? That's awesome! Love it! Stacking them up. Let's go find more. Okay, so we were just sitting way over there at that tree. Blasting. And, uh, I got us up here and say, God, that looks like a shed. And, uh, lo and behold, it's actually a skull. It doesn't look like a big one, but it looks like it's in good shape. Hopefully. Vertebrae. Heavy four with some cool bases. Looks like he died in velvet. Broke his G4. Bases are pretty wild. So, he said he looks like he died in velvet. Still pretty uh, light. It's got all this black, this black uh, like mold and stuff on it. Looks like cat got him. His nose is gone. Back of the neck right here, he's got big teeth marks out of it. So, cool, cool buck though. Got a lot of potential. Looks like he's pretty young. So, heck yeah, we'll take it. All right, so we've been hiking about two hours now. Found a few deer, found one elk. I just spotted this giant, giant shed. It looks like big old elk shed, and it's hanging. It's hanging from a tree right over here. We're gonna have Jay go up and, and grab it. Don't pull it out yet, bud. Let me get the video of it. Oh yeah, it's a big bull. One, two, there's one. There's the other side. Che, find the other side? Oh yeah. Hold on, don't pick it up yet. Look at that thing. Hung up in a tree. And Che just matched him up. Pick that one up, bud. Different ball. Woohoo! That's still a good bowl. Ooh, ooh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank, thank you, thank, thank you, thank you. Thank you. There it is. It's not the other side. Fresh up track. Right through there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we're
we're out here on the deer shed side of our New Year's trip. And I just spotted me a deer horn. Yeah, yeah. Been sitting out here for a while. But we're on the board. All right, here we are. Uh, winding down the day, got a couple hours of light left. So we decided to move spots. Trying to get into the deer. It's uh, last day of shedcation, so we're just we're trying to pick up a bunch of deer, but we're having fun. Finally, finally found one. Even though it's old and chalky, I finally found one. <clears throat> Damn it. Peace out. What's up guys? So it's the end of January. Um, we've been bogged down for the past couple weeks with snow and it's been driving us crazy. So we've had a couple good days, a nice blue skies and a little bit of warmth. So we decided what the hell we're going to go out and uh, see if we can find some sheds. Give it a shot. So we're after deer and uh, hopefully if everything pans out all right, we'll have a couple good sets uh, picked up by the end of the day. So. Fingers crossed, and uh, here we go. All right, so we're a couple hours in. Hike clear to the top, up this nasty, nasty canyon. And uh, we got burn sparse trees up here. I'm just setting up, kind of glassing a lot of this open country, and uh, we got a shed. Looks like a pretty good one, too, so let's check it out. Be right there. <clears throat> all right, well, we finally made it all the way, all the way around and over here to where uh, I glassed this shed up and found it. And what looked to be one big shed actually is uh, a little set, so over here a while. A three point set. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, well, I just picked these up and uh, they're actually not a set. I mean, they're they're two, two completely different deer. This one's a little bit bigger, three point, different bases. And this one's even older, smaller, younger buck, but a three point. So that's pretty wild. Have two different deer, two different years, two different horns laying like that side by side like a set so that's pretty cool sweet like that jam so, let's see that's where it was it's just walking through this stuff right here spotted that tone on that tree right there <laughs> Getting buried. He's split in half. Old blind girl. Or deadhead or whatever you want to call it. Definitely a deadhead. Older than dirt. But thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we're heading back to the truck right now. We're actually not very far, a couple hundred yards. I mean, if that, 
probably more a couple hundred feet, but uh, yeah, truck's real close, so I'm just kind of hauling butt. I got this game trail right here behind me, and I look over and I saw this bone laying right here. So I took like two more steps, and uh, you can see we got deadhead, so. I'm not even gonna mess with it, it's so old. But thank you, thank you, thank you for the find. Well, here we go, March 7th, and uh, me, Britt, and Che here are heading out to see if we can pick up some deer sheds. We were gonna try to go after a little bit of uh, both deer and elk out here, but uh, yesterday's snow dropped snow, or yesterday's rain dropped snow in some of the spots that have a bunch of the elk. So uh, we still got a bit, little bit of skiff here, but we're gonna try to pick up some deer sheds. So cross our fingers and uh, hopefully we can Pick something up. Stack them up, right? Yes. So, peace out. Oh, it looks like it could have just dropped. Well, it's not that far. Yeah, it's on the side, though. Huh? Dad runs the other side, though. Eh, take a picture. It'll last longer. Yeah. There we go. Another brownie. Thank you, thank you, thank you, right? Okay, here we go, day two, Easter Sunday. Got Britt and Che going that way. Bryn's right up over here. We're gonna head down and go to the top of this big mountain over here. Hopefully get into the elk. We just jumped, or didn't jump, actually driving down the road, just seen a big herd on our way to this spot. So, fingers crossed, we can start stacking them up. So, happy Easter, and uh, let's go have fun. Okay, here we go. I finally made it all the way across this basin where I uh, glassed up this shed from. There it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Take five. It's actually over there, the top of that hill, right dead center, right there, when I uh, glassed this up. I was already going up the hill that way, and uh, decided to do a big loop around, and ended up coming back down to it. Alright, so here we are. We've been after uh, a big, big typical, about the size of what I killed. Um, on the muzzleloader for the kids hunt. Jay and Bryn, last night me and Bryn made a death hike, run, tried to get to him before it got dark and we ran out, but uh, today we found him this morning again. We've been tracking him all day. It's like about two o'clock and uh, found a few sheds. Pretty sure that's a shed off of him. And then Britt picked up this big old gagger. Typical. Yeah. Can't wait to score that bad boy. Mm -hmm. Couple cheaters. And uh, lo and behold, I just stumbled upon a, a deadhead. And it looks like pretty good, pretty good typical. So let's go check him out. All in all, we can't say our day has been bad. Oh, a nice three by four. Oh yeah. Very cool. Nice. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's one clear across the canyon over there too. I glassed up this morning, but I haven't had time to go get him because we've been trying to kill this buck. So, yeah. another day. All right, well, I'm cruising up this, this ridge. I'm gonna go get over here on this farthest rim so I can glass. And on the shed. Looks like a pretty good floor. Weak beam, good backs. Hell yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There's probably a whole bunch more in here. And I don't have time to hit. 
but what we'll do is we'll boss a little bit. <laughs> Look. 